coaching news, UConn made the announcement today. They have hired former UCLA and NFL coach Jim Mora. Fortunate enough to start my coaching career here at the University of Connecticut. Started as a student assistant in 2011 and 2012, and then had the opportunity to be a graduate assistant here at UConn in 2013. They work with our kids each and every day. Our players are great kids. They're working hard every day in school. It's special to be back home, uh, a place that uh, you know you went to school, a place that I grew up um, in Connecticut, and have family here still to this day. And, and it means a lot to be back here. What's most important is our current players and the former players of this program and us building a program that, that they deserve. And the most important part of the Special Forces identity is understanding it's a short time duration to get our mission accomplished. The sense of urgency that we need every time we step on the field with every single unit. Does that make sense? To me, Special Forces is going to be a way that we change the game. It's the only time our entire football team comes together. Offense, defense, specialists and all of us have a chance to push in the same direction. We have every coach and every player at our disposal. It should be the strongest part of our football team, and we believe that it's gonna define Connecticut football. He's a firm believer in special teams. Like, it's, like, he lets us know, like, this is a part of the game. Like, this plays a big part of the game. And, you know, he, he believes in what he says, so I feel like I should believe in it, too. Like, you can feel his vibe as soon as he walks in, and, like, just the, let me get two class from Rick Flair every morning, like, that plays a big part how we start our day. Like, it just shows how locked in we are. Is he mic'd up? Oh, he's mic'd up. Is this any more, like, close up? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get, like, right up on the dog. camera. You gotta, like, get up here. You can put this is my dog, here. Coach Shear. Oh, Jesus, don't put it on. Go the Yukon alum. I said Jesus, you can't even, you can't even put that in now. <laughs> Jesus, <too bad>. <laughs> this Joe McFadden. <laughs> He just be Dougie here. Fresh. He just be around. Oh, okay, no. Sends Dougie out. Fresh. I'm being held Dougie captain. Fresh. Dougie Fresh. He's super high energy. Definitely brings the juice to every meeting and practice, and kind of allows us to feed off his energy. Did you guys watch the, the game last night? Yeah, yeah. How about, so Paige, buckets, right? Great example of competitive greatness, which we talked about, right? Which is being at your best when your best is required. So I was lucky enough to be at the game, and I was just watching her demeanor. Her demeanor never changed the whole game. And that's why she was able to do what she was able to do, which was score 15 points in overtime. Yes, sir. I mean, it was unbelievable. Right. But it wasn't unbelievable. It was believable because that's who she is. Right. And so we have to think that way, right? Methodical shoot. I'm, I guarantee you she was amped up inside. They all were, right? But being able to keep ourselves in control. Let me get the door for you guys. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Coach Lou Spanos, defensive coordinator at University of Connecticut. I was fortunate enough to uh, coach the NFL for 22 years uh, with some great legendary minds um, with Coach Cower, Coach Tomlin, Coach Mike Shanahan, and also Coach LeBeau. And with those years of 22 years, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to compete in three Super Bowls 
Super Bowl 30, 40, and 43, and we were victorious on 40 and 43. So Coach Spanos, me and Coach Spanos go all the way back to when I was in high school. The thing about Coach Spanos, he's been the same person since my home visit. So like the same way he acted in my house is the same way he acted here. Like nothing changes about that guy. You can just go to and just ask anything. He will keep it um, 100 with you. Like he never gonna judge. He just always gonna be there for you. And he's a die hard football guy. Like he love football. Yeah, I enjoy playing with Coach Spanos because it make it fun. You know, some people don't make it fun to like play for him, but Coach Spanos make it fun. He joke by the same time. We serious, like you know what to do, like we handle business, like Coach Spanos always. I feel like made it easier for me to play. Also, like he like scrape, like he scrape forward and direct. He tell you like what he wants you to do. You know, I was fortunate. I know Coach Morrow almost for 30 years, and also. I was defense coordinator at UCLA. You know, I was talking earlier on about you know great minds, and Coach Moore has one of the great minds in football. He is so innovative from then and now, and it's always evolving. And just he's amazing work for you know that we're going in the right direction. The energy, the enthusiasm, and just how we're competing at practice. <laughs> Everyone's. Everyone's looking forward to the spring game and also you know, for the upcoming season. So eight, nine, 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 nine. So we're just going to go seven on seven and special teams. So, so I'll skip eight and nine. Yes, sir. That's true. Especially, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, especially yeah. these two. Not like <laughs> good point. Good point. Focused energy. Focused energy. Focused energy. Focused energy. Coach, round two, one, two. Coach! Coach! What's up? the opportunity, you know, it was really hard to leave um, the University of Maine, especially being the head coach there and uh, what that place meant to me, but uh, Coach Mora and the vision of this place and, and what it can be and what it should be was ultimately really the biggest reason. Uh, the opportunity, of course, uh, to compete and coach at this level again. Coach Charlton has been an absolute pleasure to work with. Uh, I think in the, in the few months I've known him, uh, we've, we've connected and we've built a great chemistry so far, which is what you need out of out of that relationship between an OC and a quarterback. And he does he does a great job with, with not only myself, but all the, all, the, all the other quarterbacks, all the other players. And he really brings an intense energy and intense passion to the game of football that's really inspiring to me. And I know it's inspiring to the other fellow teammates. Um, I love Coach Charlton's energy. He brings the juice every practice, every meeting. Um, he gets the players going late. Like, um, being a young coach, I think that um, he has that ability to know what's wrong with players, what can help them get through things, and what help them get through the football team. Let's go, yeah! I love it! I love it! I love it! I love it! We win everything today. We win everything today. We win everything today. We win everything today. Let's go. Bring it up. Here we go. Hey, go throw three. One, two, three! You talk about getting 1% better every day. That's really all you can ask for, especially when you're installing a new offense. But the guys have been doing a great job, and I think it's starting to show up on the field. One, two, one, two, three. From the fire, getting stronger. This is how legends are made. Offense, I'll take the day. This is how legends are made. Marquez Pember, you. Marquez Pember, break him down. Let's go, way to compete today, man. Let's keep building. Break by break. Hey, let's go. Brotherhood on me. Brotherhood on three. One, two, three. Brotherhood.